The green monkey of St. Kitts and Nevis is once again making the news. This time the primate is at the center of efforts to reduce the estimated 30,000 population down to a manageable size. The Ministry of Environment is hosting a national consultation on the management of the invasive green monkey on Tuesday, 20th February 2023. Funded under the Global Environmental Facility, the consultation will be used to determine workable options for controlling the pesky primates. Dr. Joya Clark, the Minister with Responsibility for Environment, spoke on Freedom FM issues about the consultation. The national consultation brings together multiple stakeholders. <clears throat> it's supported by the Jeff Small Grant Project, which allowed for an uh, um, invasive alien species project throughout the Caribbean, of which I think it is partner to that project. And our priority was the green monkey. The national consultation is coming on the end of our national communication efforts about invasive species. And tomorrow, when we bring all of the stakeholders together, we are basically talking about what do we do going forward to manage the species here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Bernard Hobson of the Department of Agriculture spoke with SK Newsline about pushback from some quarters on the culling of monkeys. Take, for instance, America, they, they go on hunting, they do deer hunting, they do all kind of hunting, and nobody is pressing them in what they're doing. And they, their farmers, they are making millions of dollars, billions of dollars. So what about the farmers here on the island of St. Kitts Nevis, where they can't afford the opportunity also to make millions or billions of dollars from the farm producing food for the people of St. Kitts Nevis and the wider Caribbean or the Western Hemisphere? It is unfair that people want to push back and say, animal cruelty. But America, America is doing a lot of hunting of different animals and you don't, you're not hearing any cry out about it. But small countries think it's Nevis, you're going to hear a lot of cry out of animal cruelty to the monkeys. The monkeys are a pest to the farmers. Meanwhile, Hobson said the department is continuing a program of shooting and trapping monkeys in order to bring about relief for farmers. Monkeys are known to destroy crops in every stage of growth, resulting in severe financial losses for farmers and the inability to make significant progress in food sustainability. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.